all right what's up guys welcome back to another video today we are once again reviewing the scp roleplay roleplay update announcement trailer now there is certain things i've missed from uh explaining on last video i've uh posted about this so i'm going to make another video that's going to be way more detailed and uh yeah i'm just going to be explaining more about this trailer so let's go ahead and get into this obviously we can see a new part of cdc there and then we have 079 we also have a bathroom sign right there. We obviously know there is new bathrooms and other new parts of the map. And judging from this angle right here, there's going to be large cave systems for CI. I would also like to mention uh, this part right here. There is a new glass window here. Um, the bookshelf, multiple SCPs have been moved in different areas. And there's also a contained sign above every containment door. So, I guess that's just for, uh, you know, making sure it's easier way for knowing if it's contained or not. We can see here that the Chaos Insurgency is uh, leaving the, looks like, maybe Sector 3 vent. And it looks like there's some SCP signs right there. And there is, uh, this is a definitely a new part of the facility. I mean, the entire site's going to be reworked, I think. And there's, everything's going to be new. So, yeah. Uh, we can see here that uh, there's also uh, red, there's signs above the containment doors, and they're also in different spots, um, mainly because this is a whole new area of Sector 3. We can see the auditorium. Now, this doesn't look like the same auditorium as we are playing in-game right now. This looks like a different type of auditorium. Um, looks like they have completely remade the auditorium and made it a bit smaller. Um, so auditorium is completely remade as well. All right, we can see the AD slash O5 tablet. And as it's said here, it says welcome and then your name. And then it says site status, site policies, tasks, cameras, request alpha one. Now, obviously for requesting alpha one, I s assume this is for O5s only. Uh, site status, AD can check, site pol policies, AD can check as well. And then tasks. I guess that's just a better way of looking at task, and then we obviously have cameras here. So basically, this is just a shortcut of getting to things more better, I guess. And then we can see the tablet there. Here we can see the reception desk for medical sector. This medical sector is completely remade and much, much more newer uh, layout, it looks like here. Um... Yeah, we actually have custom monitors now. Uh, it looks like they have little sections for patients and stuff on the screens and stuff like that. Uh, they also have a NPC, AI, whatever you want to call it, named for Patricia that you can click to check in. Uh, I assume there will be multiple options and stuff regarding medical stuff and roleplay-wise things. And yeah. We can also see right here that there is a list of signs. Unfortunately, we're not at a good angle where we can read those yet. We can see here, once you're in the medical department, it says additions. And we can hear, see here that it says a microscope cure. Now, uh, I guess this is one of the things you can uh, usually use as a roleplay item uh, once you're in medical sector. And I guess you could uh, get XP for doing these little games here. It says progress 50 out of 100. I guess you have to do click certain ones and stuff. And then over here, we have different icons for maybe other games and stuff. So there's going to be a lot of stuff added, obviously. But this is one of the roleplay aspects for medical department. There is a new scientific department clipboard. As you guys can see here, it is a usable tool that will soon be added in the next update. Um, checklist looks like... You can select different boxes here once you've completed these. And I assume you can log these or something. And you can also maybe select different clearance uh, and classes stuff. Alright, well. Interesting. Okay, well this is actually new. I don't know why I didn't mention this in the last video. Except I only said catwalks. There is also a new opening area in CDC. For some reason, I actually predicted this on my own, that this would happen for an entrance right here to open up. Um, we can't really tell what is back there. 
except this large little room and uh, another little doorway opening into a big room back there. I could only assume it's something regarding to Class D's, maybe a new area for the cafeteria to be in, along with other roleplay things for Class D's. Instead of the cafeteria being on the side of CDC, it can be up in there, along with other things as well that will not be uh, revealed yet until further teasers or whenever the update is fully r released. Alright, we can see here that there is new gun attachments, which is, you can see the little crosshair aim thingies on the guns. This is pretty nice for PvP. Here we can see 079, the Plague Doctor, chasing this guy. This guy is also holding a new type of, like, spray. And I assume, I've looked at the other clip too, this usually sets, makes it where the SCP goes back to their containment chamber. This is pretty nice, and as y'all see, saw for a second there, there was a little timer. I assume you have to do it for like, you know, over 5, 10 seconds or more. Um, it's pretty cool, I like it. As you see there, it's going back. There's a ranked mode for PvP. And also, I've noticed that there are these things. There's these things all over the map ceilings, the hallway ceilings. It's this red red pole thingy, red pole expanding across all parts of the ceiling right here, just going in a straight line. Now, I assume this might be a realistic type of thing for 008 event, or this could be a another different event, because Metable, Meta did say that they would create more events. So possibly this could be a different event. Who knows? Comment what you guys think it is, and I'll check it out. There's also, we can see that SCP-173 containment chamber is in outside of Sector 3. It's interesting. And then we have the safe SCP-999 um, outside, too, of Sector 3. It's uh kind of weird, not gonna lie. Um, but all of this is new. Maybe it'll make sense once uh, we see the whole site. But uh, yeah, that's it for now. Reworked SCPs. It looks like they did. They redid every SCP containment chamber, as you guys can see here as well. The fiery SCP is also rebuilt into a more uh, realistic environment. It looks like can also say see the same thing with 096 and then we have I assume this is 002's containment chamber or this could be a different containment chamber but there is a red door right there which we all know what that could probably be then we have able sword along with the character this is very interesting due to the fact you know there is a whole new area right behind this person, um, as well as, you know, other things. And then we have a sword and that person. Um, is it just me, guys, or do I feel like this person is not, a, like, this is not an NPC SCP. This is like a real person as a SCP. I'm not sure if they actually made it where players can be SCPs now, but that's probably the case. And if so, that's very cool. Then we have some MTF members in the back here in a big room, it looks like, with a big door behind it, which could lead into like an area back where we saw right here. Right here. I don't know what this is yet. This is all a big mystery, um, but yeah. And so far, it looks like they have added prestiged cosmetics to MTF, as long as ever every other combative department, mostly. Um, this is for the ones who have leveled up a lot and maxed them out in the department, or ones who have gotten a lot of XP, it looks like. And then we go over here to an infection mode additions. Looks like they have changed the zombie mode. As well as the 
3008 right here. And of course, we have a 079 hack event. Now, I assume this is going to be Chaos Insurgency's uh, decision due to the fact we can probably see a CI right here in the observation room doing something right there. Um, probably stealing something or, you know, just hacking the server room. And then we have 079 right here. We also see a 079 door access thing right here. And I didn't see this before. But there is a 079 door access thing. Which I assume you pull that down and you... If you're CI and you get to go into this thing right here, the observation room or whatever... Or maybe it opens this door here. Who knows? That uh, there is something you can do as CI there. We can also tell that there is a big leak right here. This is a very big... <laughs> we can see a lot right here. This is a new map. Entirely new map, mostly. Um, we have Sector 1. It looks like the auditorium is in a different place as well with everything else. Shooting range is in sector 1 now. That is awesome. We also have a... Looks like a... I think that says cafeteria. So we have a cafeteria for foundation personnel now. As well with... The outside area right there. This is completely different now. And then we have... A lot of other things here. We have CDC here. As well as sector 2 as the yellow, sector 3 is the red, sector 1 is the green obviously, and then we can see everything has changed here. Um, and then once we go over to sector 3, we have all kinds of things. Sector 3 is completely bigger now, instead of what, what, <laughs> of what it was before. Um, I agree that the developers um, on this one should uh, make the map bigger than what it was before. I'm glad that they're expanding the map and changing everything. That This is very new and <laughs> awesome to SCP Roleplay. I like this. And then we have the ending clip uh, with the text saying, and a lot, a lot more. And then in the background we can see it looks like a lot of rock or something in a containment chamber or maybe outside. The facility? Who knows what this could be? Comment down below what you guys think this is. Might be Abel's containment. Who knows, guys? There is over 200 updates. 200 changes in this update. As soon as we get more leaks and uh, trailers, we will soon figure this out together. And then the update will be released. And then we have the ending screen with SCP Roleplay Update, well, along with the main things that they're adding. And then I didn't show this in the last video, but we have an update announcement, which is what we just got. This is the SCP Roleplay new update timeline. The next trailer is going to be on the 13th of August. The SCP Roleplay YouTube mini-series trailer. Then we will have, on the 15th of August, the SCPs trailer, which will be very interesting. We also have on the 17th of August, mini-series epilogue, also interesting. On the 19th of August, we're getting closer to ranked mode trailer. Get that. And then finally, the update is there. We get the update, the entire update. SCP Roleplay gets updated along with a video in the Discord server. So, if you guys are excited... Definitely comment down below what you guys think this update is all about and give me some ideas and I'll definitely read your comments down below. Um, if you guys have anything else to say, definitely make sure to comment it. And uh, yeah, if you guys want, definitely subscribe. I will be posting more content once I get more subscribers. Like the video so this can get more views. More people need to see this. And if you guys want for better communication, join my Discord server. The invite link is in the description below. I suggest joining it if you want to get cl closer contact with me and others. We are growing a community fast, and we have a good community. If you want to join, invite is below. And yeah, this is going to be it. I'll probably post another video once the next trailer is out. And this is Adex, and I'm out. Bye-bye.